this video, I'm going to show you how to create a function in C++. Specifically, this is going to be a void function. A void function means it's a function that will not return a value. So for example, I've got this little simple program that asks the user for an integer number and then displays it back to the user. This pretty much is a very basic program. And let's compile and run this just to show you how it works. So if I typed in the, the number five, I'm just getting a message saying that you've entered the number five. So say that every time I want to print out this value, I don't want to write this whole line. So I can simplify this and, and cut this line and put it into a function. Now, usually you write a function when you need to use it multiple times, not just once. If you find that you only want to use it once, you might, might not be worth putting it into a function unless you want to tidy up the place and organize your, your program. But usually a function is useful when you want to uh, repeat lines of code. So here is what I've got. I've just pasted in that line and I've put in my function at the top before the main. And now when I want to call this function, I just need to call it using its name. So over here, I'm going to call the function name, but I need to pass it in a value because we've defined this function to accept one um, argument. So I'm going to pass it as an argument and it's waiting here or it's defined as a parameter over here as integer. So this program will work pretty much the same, but the difference is now I can, whenever I want to print out um, a, a number or a value, it could be an integer, I can just call out that number and I don't have to print this line each time. And also another thing is usually you'll have more lines maybe in your, in your function. So now if I want to, um, I'll just say a number, change the value of a number to, for example, nine. And now I want to print it out again. I can easily call the function one more time. And sorry, I, pr I, uh, I pressed the wrong um, shortcut key. So if I said five, the number you've entered is five. I need to compile this first so I can see the change. Okay. So if I said five or, or six, yeah, five, so the first time it it's, call the function with the number five. But the second time I've hard coded the value, I put a nine and it printed out that line. So you can call this function as many times as you need to in your program and makes your life easier. So thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video where I talk about a function that would return a value instead of a void. So stay tuned.